Trust no one, trust no one, trust no one, trust no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. Cautions, trust no one. Check it, right, so, I've come back to part two. Do I believe what I've just sung? No, of course I don't, I'm just messing around with you guys. I will put a, um, a link to that video in the description, you can listen to it, but... Am I a believer of trust no one? No, no, no. You don't want to live that way. And that's, this is this is what I'm trying to get into. Right. So we're back for part two. Check it out, guys. Right. So I have been on the train when I was 14. I listened to some white guys telling his missus about he has no friends and why it's best to be alone. I felt really sorry for the guy. A year later, I get stabbed in the back by my best friend. And another friend inside of my social circle takes his his uh, side, okay, and um, based upon the same country that they're from, okay, shocking, okay. Um, then right, so so right, so fast forward, say, fast forward now, sixteen years later, um. And I'm in counseling, not because of what happened with him. Forget that. Forget that. Um, because it's a catch-22. It's a catch-22, really. Um, I've always suffered from, um, you know, stuff. I'm not going to go into the whole thing. I say I've suffered from stuff. And when I have suffered from stuff, which kind of ties into this video as well, I've always wanted to be alone. I'm just like, you know, I just want to be alone. If I'm down, I just want to be alone. So it ties very much into this video, you know, but we'll get into that. Um, in a bit anyway, like, you know, why would some people want to be alone? But but I'm explaining it to you right now why I want to be alone. There's certain times I was down on this or that and I just wanted to be alone, you know, you know what, I'm just, um, let me just turn this off. Yeah, I just, you know, I just, I just want to be alone and what, what happened at the time with him, what happened with him is that, um, there were certain times I would come around his house and I was really down and I think the times that I was down, I was vulnerable. And I think for me being vulnerable, um, people have always seen it as kind of a weaker side. So it's it's through my times in my life where I've been down, where people have seen that kind of, what's the word? Um, what did they say? Um, they say like, a, a, not hole in the armor, but they say, you know, they say that kind of, um, that weakness in the armor, that chip in the armor, that's when they've seen it. It's always been, times when I've been down in my life where people have said no now we can get at him this is the time and if I never had that he wouldn't have been brave enough to have done it you know what I mean and really to be honest with you um why why he didn't face any repercussions and why I didn't do anything to him because I did see him several years later is, is beyond me maybe I don't know I don't I certainly wasn't afraid of the guy um but I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know I know who knows but anyway so Getting back, I'm in this counselling thing now, 30, um, at the age 30, nothing to do with him, and this counsellor now is sitting down, and by this time anyway, um, my friends had reduced from five, so when the incident happened, it then went down to three people, um, but now it reduced to one person, sitting down in counselling now, the counsellor is turning around, she's saying to people, it's okay to be alone and now some people look up to counselors like they're gods so they generally are it's a group counseling session this woman's saying that she's young she's beautiful which i'll get into in a minute um she's sitting down and she's telling these other people in the group it's okay to be alone um now the reason why i believe she's saying it is because most people that get into counselling will have a reason as to why they're in counselling and if you ask me I reckon something happened to her most likely in her childhood to cause her to suddenly want to be that way but this is the whole purpose of this video is because I if you listen to what I'm saying something's happened to her in her childhood now she's sitting down and she's telling people it's okay to be alone so in a sense it's almost like she's passing down something that's happened to her she's kind of passing that her her perception on life on being alone onto people that may not have had that particular incident happen to them 
okay so she's converting them into a way which really she shouldn't be because they haven't they have they haven't experienced that kind of thing there and remember that some counselors are seen as gods so i had to step in and i had to say wait a minute here um i kind of disagree with you there she was um and this is why she didn't like me in the group she didn't like she she wasn't used to someone challenging her she has a counselor she was challenging people but when you've got someone in the group that's challenging you how do you deal with that and especially you're attractive right so she, she's attractive so she's been around a lot of simps that would just sit down there and take it and all of that kind of stuff the more ugly you are as a man, the more silent you're going to be when some, some woman talks, you know, beautiful woman talks, you're going to be like, wow, you know, she's actually talking to me, you know. Um, whereas with me, I've never, I've never been a, a simp, you know, I've, I've been, I've been fascinated by women, beauty of women, all those kind of things, mesmerized by them, but not to a certain, not to a degree where when they're saying certain things and it sounds wrong, that I don't stand up and say, wait a minute, eh? and even if it jeopardizes my relationship with them, so be it. That's the whole, this is the, the nature of all of my videos. I'm not here to make you happy. I'm here, you know, I'm, I'm not saying you should agree with my opinion, but believe me, I'm going to have my opinion. So I, I stand up and I say to this woman, I, I don't know about that, you know, to be honest with you. And, um, and then this, and now, and now I'm going to tell you the reasons. Now I'm going to speak to you the same way I was speaking to the group, okay? Um, I said, I'm not really sure about that. And they were like, well, why? Why is that? And I was like, um, we're not here. Um, I was with a Jehovah Witness ages ago um, when I was about 21. And I remember them saying it, and I stood by it as well. And they said that, you know, yeah, sure. I said that. What they said was, us as human beings, we're not meant to be alone. We haven't survived. The human race hasn't survived by ourselves. We wouldn't have survived. If we go back to, you know, even caveman days and those kind of things, we would never have made it by ourselves. We made it as a group. We made it, you know, as a, um, not as a sect, but as a, you know, um, united basically we made it as a large group united and we st stood by each other and we had rules one person would look out for this and you know hunter gatherers and all kinds of things but we we made we us human beings made it through all kinds of things out there through us sticking together when we were separated and isolated just like in the animal kingdom we stood less chance of surviving and then she jumped up and she goes well no that's not true not all animals some animals are, born, are born to be by themselves and they survive by themselves this is the counselor and i was like well fair enough you know fair enough but um you know like insects and all those kind of things but generally most animals that i know anyway um and i'm not talking about insects and you know a mosquito or, or whatever i'm not talking about those things centipede and all that kind of stuff i'm talking about most animals that we know in the animal kingdom travel in packs packs that's the word i was going to use herds and things like that that's how they survive okay um because the power is in numbers we're not meant to be alone and if and if that animal gets separated from the pack it's down it doesn't stand a good chance of surviving it's as simple as that that's why most um predators will try to isolate um is to try to single out a person from the herd and then attack it because they can't attack the herd by themselves they're just not strong enough to do it okay divide and conquer um However, as human beings in the Western world, mo mainly in the Western world, because I said I spoke about this in my um, um, chasing stimuli video, that in countries say like India, in countries less developed countries, poorer countries, funny enough, the same countries that China refuses to help. Okay, because remember when the whole Corona business broke out, what did China say? we will pay off or we will uh what's the word um what's the word when you owe someone a debt we will um we will not we'll, we'll refund you know what i'm talking about this is a I hate when these things happen now because the video will end and i know it but we will basically um you know we'll pay off um or we'll help we will pay back the um uh, they didn't use the word uh westernized they used the word um, we were, the top eight not the top eight countries, but powerful countries, powerful countries like Russia, Britain, America, and all of those sort of people, we will pay them back the money, and we will pay them for the damages that we've done to the countries. As in the third world countries, we couldn't give a rat's ass about them. 
okay but you know what the one you know what the third world countries those are the countries where you're going to experience things like harmony where um the, the that same herd pack um group survivors as, 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 as a as a as a unit culture harmony spirituality all those kind of things are there um you're not going to struggle as much and they're not as materialistic as they are here in the western world you're not going to struggle so much to find a partner and they're not going to be too caught up in this whole vanity thing where everyone's trying to look and, and it sounds a bit harsh but let's be real about it everyone's trying to look like caucasian people you know you've got chinese people having surgeries on their eyes so that their eyes are um is it, is it bigger so they're no longer slanted you know so they're now eye surgery on their eyes you've got certain black people like michael jackson that had surgery on his nose to make his nose thinner so you know so it looked like a caucasian nose you've got certain black people that are having surgery on their lips you know um many races changing that to fit a caucasian's um, idea of beauty whereas in those countries now um there's women walking around extremely beautiful and not even aware of it they're just they're just it, they're just not aware of how beautiful they are um and this is why I'm I will get back to this I will get back to this whole third world thing as well and how it compares to the western world and the solution to it because I just told you the solution that basically in those third world countries they're not as concerned um with all of those things it's more down to respect honor principles um there was this black guy on line talking about anar anarchists because when I think of the word anarchy, like if you said to me I'm an anarchist, I'm going to think, oh my gosh, like anarchy, that's like when, um, that's that total chaos, mayhem. That's almost like no control and no policing and no authority and how, you know, people just walking around doing whatever they want, killing each other, stabbing, just oh my chaos, that's anarchy. And this black guy came online, so that's the fair, and he said, well, no, that's not anarchy. That's not anarchy is. Anarchy means we don't need authority or someone to govern us. We govern ourselves. The community the community in itself governs itself. So if there's some sort of killer or rapist or pedophile or whatever, we deal with it ourselves within the community. Um, and in those kind of um, third world um, countries, a lot of the times they govern things by themselves as well. But generally um finding a, a woman um wouldn't be hard or, or a woman finding a man wouldn't be hard but then i don't know i don't again i wouldn't know how it is for women out there um in, in regards to them finding a man but i can say a man finding a woman um is likely to be a lot more easier and it's likely to be a lot more um real authentic okay um right so where else are we going with this Right, so it's down to things like technology over here that is forcing us, really, is damaging us in the biggest way possible. Technology is just totally killing us because what it, what it means is that rather than I'll sit down on the train and there's a woman directly in front of me and rather than chat her up and say, hi, um, what's your name, blah, blah, blah. Um, and again, she'll think that she's been put on, uh, what's the word? A lot of the time she'll think that she's been put on, um, not not blast, but she'll think that she's been put on public display when I'm talking to her and she'll be embarrassed to speak back to me. There's that kind of pressure over here in the UK as well. Um, or people, wanting, you know, people not having a genuine concern. So put, put it this way, other people will jump into our business if I'm trying to chat with a woman and it's not in a positive way. They'll probably jump into our business in order to try to kind of badmind the people, prevent me from, from being able to chirp so any or chat her up or whatever, or say, you know, have a conversation with her. Um, but So it's got to a point where I'm sitting down on the train and rather than me actually have a conversation with her, I'd rather get out my phone and go on Tinder and be swiping on Tinder rather than talk to someone that's generally there, which has happened. I've gone to a club with a friend. I never forget it when I was younger. But again, I was beaten down then, you know, going to a club at about 20 years old. And I was beaten down something rotten, probably older than that, probably about, probably about 24, actually, about 24. And um, there's this girl that's really interested in me, beautiful looking girl as well. And um, rather than actually talk directly to her, I'm on my phone on a dating app, swiping at other girls and sending messages. Hi, my name's, hi, my name's, hi. Why I wouldn't directly talk to her 
and that's the kind of Western world. Uh, but funny enough, um, I do find that it's slightly harder to have a conversation with people, with women in the Western world, um, as opposed to having a conversation with people in the third world countries. Okay, I find that in the third world countries, they smile a lot more, and it's a genuine smile. Um, and they generally are concerned, like, you know, if you cut yourself, they generally do want to help you, you know, get a bandage, a band-aid and whatever. Um, and they're not too concerned about whether they can have a good, carry out a good conversation with you in the third world countries, because that doesn't, the whole vanity thing doesn't come into it. It's only over here in the UK where, you know, it would either be a man thinking he's something special, like saying, man, you're chatting fraff or whatever, or... Well, it's not even generally men, let's be honest about it. It would be a woman over here in the UK that would say to a guy, come on, man, come out a better conversation. That's boring, bruv, yeah? That's boring. Is that... Bruv, you're chatting doo-doo, yeah? Come better than that, you know? Yeah, and be at the same time have nothing to bring to the plate herself. It's only over here in places like the UK where people generally think that there's something special. Um, whereas over in those third world countries... Even if the conversation isn't the greatest conversation, people understand that it's better to have a conversation than to be kind of isolated and, and rather and walk along the street every single day, but be bumping into hundreds of people, but never, never communicating or never um, connecting with them. It just logically just doesn't make sense. So in other countries, even if they are talking about something silly, they'll still go out their way to try to make that connection. Okay, but I'm going to see you in part three and just going to sum it all up for you guys. Thank you for staying with me. Let's see you around for part three. Peace.